Good morning. It is Monday morning, the start of a new vintage reseller vlog. I'm Karen Lebo. I have a shop on Etsy called VintageDazzle.Etsy.com. And I, this is my weekly vlog where I show you uh, what I'm listing, what I'm selling, and uh, what, my, what I'm doing in terms of artwork, sometimes what I'm cooking, what I'm eating, what I'm gardening, what I'm doing in the house, or whatever whatever I feel like filming. So I hope that you will join me, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I also do haul videos where I show you what I have acquired in terms of vintage stuff, mostly jewelry. Well, right now it's a lot of pottery and stuff, but usually it's mostly jewelry. And um, yeah, so uh, with that said, let's get started. I'll show you what I have gotten listed over the weekend. Okay, let's start with this uh, Mother of Pearl and Onyx inlaid picture frame. Um, I have another shop. Oh, look, you can see me. Hi. I have another shop that's uh, for original art and art and craft supplies where I usually put my picture frames. So that's where this is going. That shop is uh, karenlebo.etsy.com. There's a link down below if you have any interest. And this frame is $42. Um, some Mexican pottery bowls by Ken Edwards with birds and butterflies. Well, that one's upside down, but you can see there's that. And um, he signs these usually with these little bug. There's the KE Mexico, and then he puts a little bug. Um, little. Okay. okay, there. A little better focus for you. Um, so there's like a little butterfly there, which is very cute. Anyway, I have a, a pair of these bowls, and uh, those I listed for also $42. <laughs> we have this little bird, which I've seen these. I know what this stuff is. I mean, I, I've seen it before, but I, I don't know exactly what to call it. It's like a composition material made with stone chips and like a clear uh, resin of some kind, and then it's carved, I think. It looks carved to me. Um, little bird has glass eyes uh, you can see it's got a lot of wear on the felt so it does have some age to it I think it's probably mid-century and that I listed for 21 and we have some 800 silver and turquoise earrings uh, these quite possibly are Native American but uh, they're not signed. They just have a little uh, plaque that says 800 on them. And I did test them, and they're, you know, they don't test as quite sterling, but they do definitely have silver content. So that's, they probably are 800 silver. And um, let's see, those I listed for, um, where'd they go? 32. And then one more pair of these uh, Damascene earrings. These ones are in their original box. Amita is the brand, and there's even a little pamphlet that tells all about what Damascene is. And these, I don't think, have ever been worn. They're, the little silver inlay is tarnished, but other than that, they're in great condition. And I listed those for also for 21 And that's all I have to show you for right now. Hi there, it is Monday night, and I'm getting ready to wrap these things up to ship tomorrow. We have a little pewter kitty cat. He is a Burmese, according to his label. Um, he is made by Royal Selangor. Selangor. Anyway, he's cute. He sold for $21. And we have this, um, is it sterling? I think it's sterling weighted sterling um, Duchin D-U-C-H-I-N creations those sold for fifty dollars <laughs> when I got them out of storage oh my gosh they were so tarnished and I thought oh, maybe they were tarnished to begin with and I went and looked at the picture and no they were beautiful and shiny so I had to spend a little time polishing them but they look nice and then lastly I sold this picture frame that I just listed and that sold for $42. It's a mother of pearl and inlaid onyx 
These always seem to get snapped up. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and I'm going to show you a few things that I've gotten listed yesterday and this morning. Okay, uh, first up we have this set of little Chinese, I think they're Chinese, pretty sure they're Chinese, uh, watercolors that are mounted on this kind of pretty patterned paper. These were probably sold as a souvenir, but a long time ago, judging from the state of this box. Uh, I'm guessing probably 1930s. Uh, could be as late as the 50s, but I would think no later than that. Some little koi fish. There's some bamboo. This is a pretty one. Roses. They're all signed and they have that red square mark, which is something important. I like this one, bok choy. <laughs> There's some more koi fish. It's a little bit different painting though. There's some, I don't know what that is, ivy? It's kind of like ivy. Oh, I love this one. Look at the little baby chicks. Oh my god, those are so cute. That's my favorite. And there's a crab. Oh, he's upside down. The crab. So, um, anyway, I was trying to do some research on these, but, you know, there's no markings that I can read. And um, original Chinese paintings, the, pa the prices are just all over the place. So, not knowing if these might be something special, or there might be an artist in here that's special, or maybe it's all done by the same artist, I don't know. But I listed them for $150. And we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, I may be reaching, but, you know, I sold something to a museum the other day for way too cheap, so, um, you know, I'm trying to not just give stuff away if it's valuable. Uh, okay, so second we have this uh, mid-century modern, I guess it's an ashtray, like a cigar, cigar ashtray, kind of big shallow dish. I love the colors on this, it's like a turquoise and a kind of a plum purple. It's got crazing all over it, but it's pretty. The crazing looks nice. Um, let's see. That one I listed for um, 39 And then uh, this is an Ainsley China, Bone China teacup and saucer. Um, this pattern apparently does not have a name. It only has a number. And it's I don't know what number it is. 17 something. Uh, not as old as I thought it might be. It dates from 1940 to 1960, uh, which is about the same age as the other teacup I just listed that were uh, belong to my mother-in-law's mother. Anyway, um, that one I listed for 45, and t t t seems like there's something else. What am I forgetting? Here's what I was forgetting, is this carved gourd. It's like a coin bank, but it's got like a, a kind of a, a figural fish where the slot, the coin slot is the fish's mouth, which I think is really very interesting. It's got some other critters, like, that's like, I don't know what that is, a some kind of striped mammal that they have. This is from Peru. That they have in Peru. Uh, there's there's some other stuff on there. There's like a turtle and an armadillo kind of thing. So there's the turtle right there. Um, I just thought this was a really neat thing. This, this thing right here is like a I think that might be an armadillo. Look at its tail. I think they have those giant armadillos in Peru. Anyway, um, it's a cool, cool item, and I listed that. Oh my! I just tripped on something in my office. Um, let's see. Okay, the gourd I listed for 42. So that is it for this morning. Now I'm going to go clean up the mess I just made. So I am trying a new recipe for the first time in a really long time. This is a skillet of black bean enchiladas. It's kind of more like a casserole, but um, 
Oh, and uh, sorry, black bean and butternut squash. Something like that. Anyway, so right now I'm just sauteing some onions and some, oops, sorry. <laughs> Onions and garlic and some olive oil. And then we'll have to see what to do next. So now the uh, squash is cooking, but this skillet's going to be too small, which is really annoying because it's a pretty big skillet. They didn't say you needed, you know, a gargantuan, larger than normal skillet. They just said one that would work in the oven. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this comes out. Well, this is what it turned out to look like after it's all served up with the avocado and sour cream. But I have to say it did not work out too well. It got too big for the skillet. You know how that happens sometimes. So, um, and then it was like everything was burning except for the squash, which was not cooked yet. So I transferred everything into a casserole dish and I baked it for a while. And tastes pretty good, but the squash still is not done. So if I ever do anything like this again, I will cook the squash very thoroughly first, first before I do anything else. Because I ended up like scorching the onions and stuff. I don't think it was a very good recipe, but I'm eating it. And Rob's eating it. He tells me it's okay. So. <laughs> Hi there. It is Wednesday just after lunch, and I'm going to show you a few things I got listed yesterday. Yeah, this is not the stuff I listed today. I'll have to show you that later. Okay, first up we have the Ceramic Hippo, which my husband has informed me is something from his childhood that he remembers like as it was always there. He doesn't remember it being acquired, so it's older than him. And uh, he says he's probably responsible for the any damage to it, which it does have some... It has a repaired ear and a little chip under the tail and some glaze flakes, but he's so cute. I just, I had to go ahead and list him, see if anybody would want him. And I listed him for $32. And then, this is really neat, um, Native American, maybe Zuni or Hopi with Cocopelli, the dancing flute god of fertility depicted on him. Um, I really couldn't find out any information about this. I couldn't find anything quite like it online. Um, so I listed that for $45. And then we have this cute little uh, box with the marquetry in it. A little trinket box. Uh, I, I thought that it was some kind of puzzle box, but I think it's just how it's made. Because it doesn't come open on the bottom. That's just It just has a thick thick bottom. But it's very cute. I think it's made out of oak maybe. And I listed that little trinket box for $22. And then um, I lied. I did list a couple things this morning. I listed this bracelet. This Onyx and Mother of Pearl Marcosite and Sterling Silver. It is from Thailand. Very nice little bracelet. Um, listed that for $34. And then this um, rhinestone brooch, crescent moon, mid-century. It's got some aurora borealis, some black, and some gray stones, unmarked. And that I listed for 19. So we're replacing the Revere Wear handle, which we bought off of Amazon. And off of and off of ebay the first one we bought uh, the first one i bought for the manufacturer oh, okay the first one it's not off of ebay but i'm selling the first one on ebay because it was the wrong size i thought we were getting the right size but we weren't but now look at our pretty shiny new handle isn't it beautiful it's bakelite it is bakelite and it's all shiny the other other handle um this is what it looked like it broke very sad this is my one sale for today. It is an enamel and silver plated dragonfly pen. It's a museum store piece from the Bishop Museum of Hawaii and it is a collectible. And I sold him for 
dollars. Just beautiful. Really nice piece. Um, yeah. Sales are slow. Don't know why. Should be picking up by now. But I, I guess they'll pick up when they pick up. That's Muffin. She's watching movies for cats. I honestly did not think this would work. The TV is all the way up there. You see? See the birdies? She sees the birdies too. Oh, she likes them. Excuse my really messy living room. We're still in transition here. Oh, is that exciting? Sorry, I can't show them both to you at the same time. Hi there, it is Friday afternoon. I know I have not been on very much because, mostly because sales have been really slow this week. Don't know why. I just don't know why. But um, anyway, I do have a few things that I've listed, so I'm going to show you those. Okay, um, let's start out with this. This is a embossed copper on a, like a plywood plaque with a kind of a texture. Uh, it's obviously quite old and when you look at the back there's this cool label on the back that that says right there that word on the right says Armenia. I knew that because I learned the Cyrillic alphabet when I traveled to Serbia many years ago and the Cyrillic alphabet is very very easy to decipher um, once you know it. It's very um, the sounds are very consistent, and so you can sound out words. So that says Armenia. And look at that old hook on there. Anyway, uh, I discovered that this church is a famous 7th century church in Armenia. And I listed that for $42. <laughs> we have this funny object. It's a primitive hand rattle made of ceramic with a face on it. A very funny face. I, I wasn't able to find anything even remotely similar to this online. So I have no idea what it, what it is or where it came from, but it's kind of fun. Somebody somewhere is going to recognize it and love it and buy it because it's so cute. So Mr. Potato Head I listed for $29. Um, we have this lovely sterling silver engraved pillbox. It is Wells Sterling, is what it says on it. And listed that for $55. It's a Mexican silver and abalone leaf brooch. It's quite an old one, I think probably 1930s to 40s. Uh, it is signed, but I couldn't identify the maker, unfortunately. But that uh, got listed for 34 and we have the bright cut engraved heart, puffy heart locket pendant necklace and I put it on a really nice sterling silver box chain. Um, that I listed for where are you, Hart? Oh, $45. And a little, cute little marcasite and sterling silver pendant. Couldn't find out too much about that. It's probably not super old. Um, maybe 1980s. And, uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, there it is. Uh, Nineteen dollars. I listed that one at a good stocking stuffer price. So a lot of people are looking for, you know, lower priced gifts. So, and then lastly we have this silk scarf, which it had a tag once upon a time, but it's been cut out, unfortunately. I'm sure that it's a designer scarf, um, but I don't know who, and I'm sure that it's silk, although it's not marked. And um, it's real big, it's like 35 inches square. Um, so I also listed that at a bargain basement price since, since it had a couple of tiny little flaws on it. I uh, listed that for $16, and that's with free shipping, so um, it's pretty good. 
Okay, I think that is everything I've done in the last couple days. So here is my fancy new paper cutter that I got, or paper shredder rather, that I got for my birthday. And we're gonna try it out. I've never used it before, we're gonna see what happens. Ooh. Okay, well, that looks like it worked. And here is my one lonely sale for today. It is a pair of Opera Link Kid Gloves, which sold for $28. Yeah, I don't know why sales have been so grim lately. It's unfortunate. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and I'm going to show you what I got listed yesterday and I guess I listed one of these things this morning because I was too lazy to get it all done yesterday. Hmm. Okay so I'm going to start out with this Irish Clada ring and I still don't know if I say that right but I did at least um, look it up and the Clada is hands, heart, and crown. The hands represent friendship, the heart represents love, and the crown represents loyalty. And it's a very popular type of ring. And uh, this is a silver unlimited version. I don't know. It probably was not made in Ireland. But it's very cute. It's got a, the stone is glass. But it's very pretty and sparkly. And I listed that for 24 And then uh, we have this coin ring made out of a 1945 silver half dollar walking liberty. It's got a lot of nice detail on it, and I love how it's got detail on the inside, too. And the edge of the coin is right there. It's almost like they turned it inside out or something. Um, let's see, it's a nice big man's ring, and that um, listed for 39 I got a couple of scarves listed. Um, this is a Jim Thompson designer scarf. Uh, very very pretty colorful pattern of like medallions and it's almost like a almost like a stained glass window it's so pretty um, that I listed for 35 uh, there was another scarf here somewhere where'd it go? did I lose it? hmm okay well there's another scarf here somewhere I guess I already put it up oh well Sorry. Uh, then we have this collage. Um, let me see if I can focus. Okay, that's a little better. This is a collage of, uh, those are Carolina parakeets. It's an Audubon print, very famous. Actually, it's just um, the birds are cut out from this famous print, so you're only getting a little view of it, but then they're added to these um, rectangles of patterned paper, and then it's all put on a gold-painted canvas, so a little multimedia action going on there. Um, it's not signed, so I don't know who did it, but it's cute. And uh, let's see, listed that for 26 Nice little fun wall art. And then this, this is the icon. I think that this is very, very old. I think it's probably 18th century or even earlier, but I don't know. I'm certainly no expert. It does have a great big old crack in it. The paint is flaking off, but it's just really fantastical. It's in a Byzantine style. It might be Greek, it might be Russian, it might be something else, because as I said, I don't really know that much about this sort of thing, although I'm very attracted to it. <laughs> and uh, I listed that for $450, which does not seem out of line when you look at some similar things and what they've sold for. In fact, there was one, I saw one that was really, really similar. It had the exact same kind of um, this carved frame thing um, and it was in a similar state of, of uh, 
decrepitude. And um, it sold for like $500, so I figure, what the heck, I'll give it a try. See what happens. Um, I think that is everything I have to show you right now. We are off on another Sunday picnic adventure. It's a little bit of a gray day. The sun is trying to come out, but it's supposed to be 70 degrees today, but it doesn't feel like it quite yet. Um, we're heading to a park that's not too far away. Um, and it's supposed to have a nice walking trail. So we'll see how it turns out. This is a really neat street that we're driving down with these trees on either side making a kind of a tunnel. Look better from further back, but anyway. <laughs> so we should be coming up on our little park here somewhere, like straight ahead. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just in the parking lot. We're going to have our little picnic here. So there's not, not a whole lot to look at while we're eating. But then we're going to go for a little walk. So we have our egg salad bagels. And we have, uh oh, forgot to take these out, some tea. And, well, it's the usual stuff granola bar, fruit, and Hershey Kiss. It's not very exciting. Well, this is unfortunate. The park is closed, but trail is open so we have something to do well, there's an egret it's pretty they don't do much sleep mode and then it's hard to wake up sometimes um okay so here's our pretty little trail that we're walking down. We understand that there's, oh, there's the egret, that there's um, some kind of rare green-tailed towhee that's been spotted in this park recently. There, we've run into a few birders, but I don't have my binoculars with me today, so. <laughs> so our little egret friend. Well, apparently the cloud cover didn't exactly burn off. We just drove out from underneath it and now we're going back home and here it is again. It's quite thick and foggy. It's it's really odd for it to look like this this time of the afternoon, but but there you have it. And to wrap up this week's vlog, I will show you what I am wrapping up to ship tomorrow. I know I've made that pun before, sorry. Um, it just comes out accidentally. Uh, we have this uh, hand-carved walking stick from Mexico. It's got all kinds of cool stuff on it. It's got snakes and snakes and things. I don't know how I'm gonna I'm gonna pack this up, but it should be interesting. Uh, that sold for forty-five dollars. Um, we have this enamel souvenir bracelet from Rome with various scenic landmarks from Rome, um, 1930s, 40s probably, and that sold for 48 And lastly, I sold this on eBay. This is a replacement handle for a Revere Wear saucepan. I, I bought this and it was the wrong size, so um, I opened the package, but it's still not used. I never used it or anything. I just took it out of the package, realized it was the wrong size, put it back in the package, and I sold it for a pretty close to what I paid for it. I, I think I bought it on Amazon and I sold it on eBay, but anyway, it sold for $12 um, plus shipping of $4, I think. So uh, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, um, share, and most importantly, subscribe so you never miss an exciting episode of my vlog. All right, everybody have a good week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Remember, we're all in this together, and it has to end sometime. See ya. Bye.